glad you're here with us today. We want to welcome you to Storytime. And it's something we're doing once a month where we learn about different things that women are doing across our nation uh, and maybe even across our world that God is leading them in different directions. And, um, you know, the body of Christ is made up of stones, not bricks. Bricks are all just alike. But stones uh, are all different. And so God calls us to different things. He gives us different talents and he calls us to different things. And so this morning, I want to introduce you to someone who's very special in my life. Who, um, and her name is Lenita Motes. And Lenita is an artist and <clears throat> quite an artist. You can see that picture right behind her of uh, her daughter. I think one of her daughters. And uh, she is uh, going to tell us exactly how God led from taking a hobby and turning it actually into a career. And I've been a privilege to watch this. She's a mother of five and grandmother of five as well. And I know she doesn't look old enough to be a grandmother, but she is. <laughs> uh, and so anyway, she's going to tell us uh, about her journey with the Lord Jesus Christ of how he brought her to where she is today. And so welcome, Lanita. And Tell us about your journey with the Lord. Okay, thank you. I'm so glad for this honor and privilege to share and talk about God and art. Uh, my journey, my art journey began uh, when I was six years old and my mom bought me a paint by number set. And I actually have the very paint by number that I did at that time. I still have it. It was of a little boy and a little girl. And uh, so my mom, you know how a paint by number is doesn't take any talent it's just opening up a tube and it has a number on it and you just paint that in the square or the little <laughs> area and so but my mother like a typical mom would do looked at them and she says oh you have such talent <laughs> so, <laughs> from that she put me into uh, some art lessons actually at the ymca and i was by you know i was young maybe by now it's like third grade and uh, so from that, uh, we moved uh, to Dothan and where she put me in some art lessons under a very proficient artist, Jeannie Maddox, who's kind of been a mentor artistically to me um, through the years. And I took from her for a long time and she had a lot of uh, influence on my art. And uh, so then I go to Auburn and uh, I didn't, I did not, uh, major in art, but I always dabbled in it, kind of like Sheila said, maybe a hobby a little bit, until I got out, got married, we moved to Jacksonville, Florida, and uh, first we lived in Birmingham, and then when we moved to Florida, I wasn't going to have to have a job like I had had in Birmingham, a full-time job, and so I decided to get my arts out, so I did, and um, I connected with a local artist there who told me about a contest that they were doing for the St. John's River Water Management District. And so the St. John's River runs all the way through Jacksonville and it's really beautiful, a lot of places. And so I drove all over the river and took pictures and decided, and, and this was a watercolor contest and I'm not, my specialty is more oils than watercolors, but I wanted to enter it because I was, I was eager to just do stuff and get started. So I remember praying and asking God at that point, I was, you know, how you come to these turning points in your life where God is leading you, but then you're, you're at a crossroads. Do you really want me to do this, take this step, or is there something else? I just want to follow you and obey you. And, um, and so uh, I said in my prayer, if you want me to continue with art, let me win. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wasn't even good at watercolor. And the, and the, um, it was, it was, I was kind of late in finding out about it. You were supposed to, back then there was no internet, there was no digital anything. <laughs> so yeah. you had to do slides. And so I literally had to, I was supposed to mail them, the slides of my work, of my piece when I finished it. And um, I had to drive it down to the place, which was about 30 minutes south of Jacksonville. So I, I drove it down there, got there just in time. And I remember that even that drive down there, I, had, I was just praying and I was like, okay, Lord, I'm going to go the speed limit and see if you extend my time. <laughs> and he did. He did. And I got there and I didn't win first place, but I, won, I placed, I was in like the top two or three. I can't remember now, but, um, and I was just floored. So I felt like that was his affirmation to me to go yeah. on. And so then I pulled out my oils 
and I began uh, to do some oil paintings. Okay, so we're still in Jacksonville. I still don't have any children. And um, I did an oil painting of a mom just for my bedroom, for my house. Uh, of a ma, I had a friend of mine uh, model for me. It was a mom and a daughter reading the Bible together, and they were just sitting in her lap, and it was just a beautiful painting. And I did it all white because I had an all white bedroom, and it was real pretty. So uh, after that, a friend of mine that I played tennis with that I had just met because we were not from Jacksonville, so all these are new friends. She came over and she saw it, and she was just like loved it, and she said, "Oh, do you mind if I give your name to some of my clients?" Because she was a a clothes designer, which was really cool. She had her own shop. A lot of women who had a lot of money would come in and have her design clothes for them for debutantes or just different, you know, events. So they'd have an original piece, you know, original um, uh, designer piece of clothing. And so, uh, so she, she said, I said, sure, you know, like I do that all the time. So sure, I'll do it. <laughs> what am I doing? God help me. He always does. So, uh, so she uh, gave my name to one of her, one of her clients. And sure enough, I, that was my first oil uh, portrait commission. And I was so nervous. This lady was married to one of the top lawyers in Jacksonville and they lived on the river. And uh, I was just, here's me, you know, <laughs> um, contrite and lowly. <laughs> so, so, um, so I, I, I remember praying through every stroke on that painting, just of the execution of it and uh, asking God to help me. And then he just really spoke to me, not audibly, but in my spirit. Um, after that one was over, he said, the net, all the rest, I don't want you to pray anymore about so much about, you can pray some, but so much about the execution as I want you to pray for the people you're painting. So from that moment on, I began to pray for whoever, over whoever I'm, I'm paying, I still do that. And I jot down my thoughts and my prayers. And then when I'm finished, uh, I can I take, you know, put that all together in a letter and send it to the client. And wow. they have it, they have the prayers with the painting. And so that that's a way that God has really used that uh, in a, as a ministry. So that was my first commission, and then there was just one end after another. I always had people waiting, and she and and uh, you know Sheila said I, I have children, and that was a real uh, challenge to me because by then I started I had twins, and then I had you know other children, but down there I just had the twins, and I remember taking them to my mom's house, and she would keep them for a week, and then I would focus on the paintings because I mainly focused on them and people knew it would take me a while to get it done because of that. And, but I just, God just kind of, I just felt like I was supposed to do that. And so I just did. And I continued. So I always had, he always brought somebody. I never, I didn't even have a business card. I never went out looking if somebody would see one in the house. One time uh, somebody even bought somebody's house and the, my painting was in there. And then I got a commission from that, the new buyer of that house. So, uh, so that, that just went on all over these years. So now, uh, uh, that, that, that's kind of brings me up to the last, that was my early years of, yeah. of painting. Oh, okay. Uh, and then as the children, of course, they, you homeschooled, mm -hmm. uh, I think you, at one time you would try to do one a year. Is that right? Or, or a couple yeah, of years? Yeah, it got to be really, yeah, well, that's about all I could do. Because yeah, I had and, so many and be with the children. And so yeah. it was something you could do that way. Um, then all the kids grew up <laughs> yes. and got married, yeah. um, all yes. except for, I think one's still single. But uh, as that began to happen, God began, began to change the direction of your career, I right. think, uh, and began to open up more doors. Right. Um, and not only did you paint, but you began to teach classes right. on painting. Right. Tell us how that all transpired. That's a funny story. Okay, so um, this is, you know, um, 30 years go by, three to four moves, job changes, five children, one pig, two sheep, numerous chickens, one stray chicken, three weddings, <laughs> aging parents, homeschooling and seven graduations all go by <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and my my fourth child is my only son there's uh, uh four uh four daughters and one son <laughs> I had to count so, um, so um, 
he was graduating and he needed one fine art credit. And so I told him, I said, oh, just go be in a play. And he just looked at me like I had lost it because he, he was an athlete and but he was not an actor. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and so he said, no, can't you just teach, just let's just do a drawing class and you can teach me, just, just go over some draw, fundamentals of drawing or something like that. And I said, no, you know, we won't do it. If it's just you and I, we'll just let it slide and then I'll feel guilty at the end of the year. I'll either have to lie or, or you won't graduate. <laughs> so I said, These are very good options. So I said, let's get a couple of your friends. So I called um, Sandy Snugs, who is the uh, administrator of our school, our homeschool cover school. And uh, I said, uh, would, would you mind just putting out an email that I'm going to teach a little drawing class so I can just get a couple of people? And she said, no, come to the meeting. <laughs> oh, this is a, <laughs> a go-fuck meeting. So I was like, okay, I'll come to the meeting. <laughs> and so, and so, um, so I'm getting ready to go to the meeting. And uh, Justin said, why don't you take some of your paintings? And so he loaded them up for me. So I took my paintings. I set all up. And then um, I, I get there, so I got to unload them all. And I see all these Boy Scouts sitting around a table. And I said, aren't y'all supposed to be helping old ladies? <laughs> Go unload my car. <laughs> so, so I brought them in. I, I was all set up. And then I look over there, and there's Rosie Samper, who teaches Spanish. And she's a real cut up, and I am too. And so I just started just giving her a hard time, like, hey, you're not going to have any Spanish students because they're going to all sign up for art. <laughs> just you know just wrap you know just giving her a hard time and uh she so we were back and forth and so then the, the meeting you know became and, and all the teachers have to stand up the math teacher stands up and gives us feel the, the science the you know the literature and then it comes to me and I said well all I can say is if uh you want color in your life you can <laughs> I can give you I can give it take you in more ways than one <laughs> just, that's about all I said and I had a line of people sign up oh okay. wow so I'm I'm going home I'm going out the door and Bill Snugs is helping me load them up this time and uh I said I had 30 people sign up for wow. these art classes and I said I don't know what I'm doing I, I'm <laughs> school starts you know in a couple weeks and so we had I had to set up a studio I had to figure out what I was going to teach now this is the funniest part of this whole thing is I, I had all these people and I, I, I organized them in classes and it took up most of Friday maybe a little bit of Thursday and so that that happened and then I go to Judson and I say which class do you want to be in and he said I can't be in any of those classes <laughs> students and um uh anyway so it, it's just been very prolific and uh and then I started an adult class from that's another story which I won't say here but uh anyway then that's been wonderful it's been like art plus therapy for us them and me whoever comes it's just it's just a real thing that women love to do now mm -hmm. um as they're you know as they have more time they can actually do something that kind of uh benefit you know for themselves you Absolutely. know that they have put off all these years and so we come and and just as women uh they feel somehow it's just they feel free to talk and while they paint and draw and they're learning and it's just been a huge blessing to teach to teach women and you're so, still um, but you're still painting at the same time correct you're still yeah doing i have your, um i have oh. about five commissions right now they're not they're not all portraits one's a, a wedding a wedding scene um uh, but it has the wet the bride and groom in it but it's really more of a landscape because they got married outside um one is a posthumous um and then 
uh, I have a portrait. I have one portrait that I need to get working on. And then uh, I actually have two, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, but so yes, I have, I have several, but, but so that's, that's pretty much uh, where I am with that. Um, and, and Stuart, I, I guess you I, said, you said something about Stuart. Uh, Stuart's your husband and he became your manager, mm -hmm. correct? Y'all run a bed and breakfast. Yes. Uh, two yes. beds and breakfast actually. And, and uh, he is your, uh, he is your manager. And uh, you also have a website now, right? Correct. Right. What's your website address? Um, it's Lenita. It's L Y N I T A Motes M O T E S Art. Lenita Motes Art dot com. We tried to get Motes Art, but uh, <laughs> oh, that <laughs> it's taken. So it's Lenita Motes Art. <laughs> Lenita Motes Art. Uh, well, that that well, yeah. that's exciting and. So God is really blessing this. It really has come a, become a lucrative career for you uh, and something that you really enjoy uh, d doing. And, and so that, that's exciting. I was kind of laughing about the art class. You know, um, uh, I was an art major at, in, in college and, and, and pain as well. Some, not to the degree that you do. It's not what God's done in my life. But, but I remember teaching an art class for the very reason that you taught that, that <laughs> art class was because uh, John and Andy wanted to take art lessons from me. And so I, that was like you, we won't get this, we won't do this unless we have a class. So I, I organized a class and we had that a couple of, a couple of years actually. And I think there were about 10 or 12 students in that class. It was really fun uh, to be able to, to do that and yeah. uh, to enjoy that with your children as well. But that's funny that you ended up teaching Judson all by himself. Now he's 26 <laughs> years old. So this was a ways back, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, this was, it, was, this a while, was, a it was a while back. Uh, this, I'm going on probably my eighth year of, um, cause he was graduating that year. So he's probably 18. So yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm going on my eighth year of teaching. This is I'm ending up my eighth year of teaching, and yeah, I will say yeah. this: um, uh, I, I every every time I have a class, I, I go to God and I mm -hmm. say, "What do you want me to do?" And and I can't. In other words, I I I feel like David a lot. Who am I? Mm. You know, who am I that you brought me this far and you blessed me and blessed me and blessed me, and I get to do something. I love, and I, and then I ask him, just do it through me. Just, just show me work through me. Cause I now say, I can't do it. And that's so freeing to say, I can't do it. Mm. When you say I can't do it, it's just like, oh, that's, that's great because you can. Mm -hmm. And it's just, uh, and, and then when I go down there, there's been many times I just want to go, wow, that was good. Or just <laughs> because you just feel like, it's like he just takes over and uh you're in your element um and it, it's not hard in other words it just kind of comes Absolutely. naturally and easy. and you see you see people like that when they're in their element and they're in their you know at their game and it's just it's just a lot different than somebody who's just you know trying 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 hard it's the spirit-filled life of that flow of of the way that he was meant for us to Absolutely. To live, Absolutely. you know, in, a, in all things. And I will say this too, let me just say this, that it, when I go back and talk about this and look at this, look at when, like I've just done, every one of you out there could do the same thing. You could go back in your life and you could say, wow, well, here's my stones mm -hmm. of remembrance that God, God was doing this and I didn't like it at the time, but that was getting me ready for this. And then he's getting me ready for this. So stop fighting those steps and just embrace them and learn where you are because he's preparing you for the next thing and the next yeah. thing and the next thing. And it's never, never boring. It's never, it's always exciting and, um, it, you know, to just enjoy the journey. One last thing. Oh, I have one last thing I want you to share. Uh, with our group today, or with the, whoever's watching this today, um, is that God transitioned this now then into ministry where you teach uh, retreats to women and yeah, you use your yeah. art. Tell us about yeah. that. And uh, I have uh, this these lessons. It's called uh, Mosaic of Grace, and I came up with a lesson and I did a couple of paintings that illustrate the points of that I'm trying to teach. 
about God and uh, it's really about the Trinity. It's awesome. It's a really cool thing. And the, and the paintings are symbolic of that. I will say that about art. It's not just meant to be seen, but it's meant to be heard. Just like, mm -hmm. you know, and so there's usually any, any art piece you do, even if it's just you're, you're practicing, why'd you pick this flower over this pear? You know, there was some reason, you have some intention and some reason behind uh, why you're doing what you're doing. And some are very deep and meaningful and some are just, I'm just studying the light falling on this and I think it's beautiful, you know, that kind of thing. But there's usually a reason, a yeah. why. And that helps you, you have to make, when you're painting or drawing or creating, you have to make so many decisions, every stroke is a decision. So mm -hmm. you make all these decisions continually but if you go back to my, why am I doing this? Uh, that answers a lot of those, those decisions. Kind of like when you decide to follow Christ and there's so many of these similarities with art and the Lord. <laughs> when you decide to follow Christ, you, you decide here. Well, that's already made all these decisions here. Mm -hmm. We don't come here and go, oh, what do I do? You know, uh, do I, you know, whatever it is, you know following one step at a time yeah one yeah step at a time yeah. uh, and, and lenita is on the board for for uh raising uh dreamers ministry she's our second vice president and if you go to our website which is just uh raising dreamers uh ministries <laughs> dot org um you can uh if you your group would like to have her come and speak to you uh, about this mosaic of uh um that she teaches this class then there's a place on there that you can find where it says speakers and you can ask her to do that and we'll schedule that for her to come to your group if she can and and also uh lenita if they want to take some art classes how can they get in touch with you? Uh, you could go to my website. It has all my information on it. It has my okay. email, my phone number. You could text me, call me, um, you know, whatever. This is it's exciting. I, I just want to say to the ladies out there, um, God has a plan for your life. And it might not, it might not be to be an artist. Uh, it might not be to be an author. It might not be to be a whatever, uh, a, a singer or anything. It may, or a Bible teacher. Um, but God has a plan and ask him what that plan is and then follow him with your whole heart. And so Lenita, thank you for being with us today. And um, I just want to thank all the people that have watched.